Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Aloha lal family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video we'll be reacting to a diesel uh, Mustang So stay tuned we'll be right back with the video Welcome back guys inshallah we're gonna get started with the video momentarily And at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction So please make sure you stay until the end With that said we're gonna get started with our video should we test to see if she's still holding the boost? I will, uh, yeah, I will in a minute, but Let's I gotta. Test to see if she's I gotta holding. pee. No, no, I've Let's got to. It. I've got to Let's go to. Gosmo. <laughs> You know what's so funny though is how little throttle it takes to start spinning the wheels. Good. Holy crap. I know I'm sick minded. Thank you for noticing though. <laughs> Bro, that's cool seeing it in person. Holy cow. Yeah, I heard you feeling out. I just got off of work at Shindig. What are you talking about? I didn't feel out. That's my belt slipping. You know, be belt slips every once in a while. It makes that squealing noise. For some reason it makes the back get a little squirrely too. I don't know why it does that. You know what's actually strange though? That truck there, that truck there, and that car there all have the exact same engine in them. Hey, 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 don't look at that. Don't look at that. Come here. Does this not look like the creation of a madman? And let me tell you, no, it's not. It's a creation of a happy man. That's what it is. Because look at it. <laughs> okay, guys, the smoke sting is the best thing I've ever done. Uh, it needs a little bit of paint, I will say. I'm kind of digging the black, but it does need to turn red at some point. Fenders on the side, which have these awesome vents. That way we can let out the extra horsepower that the smoke sting just can't absorb. So you're saying it's Frankenstein? I mean, I don't know why somebody would think it's Frankenstein. Like it's, that's factory. I need to put a sign outside that says factory. Now the one question I get asked constantly about the smoke sting is can you put a hood on it? Can you put a hood on it, Weston? Where is the hood? Is the hood even going to fit the smoke sting? I don't know, we haven't tried. But uh, we tried putting the Cummins in there and look, we were successful, so I imagine we can make a hood fit it. Here is the good news though. Bigfoot is delivering a hood here in just a little bit. What the that? Let's unload that too. Now you guys might be thinking, what is in this big box? Is it a flux capacitor? Is it Bigfoot's underwear? And you know what? It's something almost as cool as them two things. It is a four inch cow hood that somewhere, hold on. Yeah, right here, look at this. It says it fits 2015 to 2017 Ford Mustangs. So if it doesn't fit, I'm blaming them in this company. This is up, do not fork, do not open with knife. How am I supposed to open it without a knife? Oh. Is it white? Look how much room it's got. It might actually fit. Nah, nah, I got it. I'll just get in the box with the hood. That's the secret. <laughs> okay, maybe that's not the secret. I'm gonna fold it. I got it. Look how pretty it is. Yeah. Ooh. Do you think it's gonna fit? That is gonna really look so sick. Imagine if we cut a hole in it for the stack. Oh! And another hole for the twin turbo? Oh, yeah, yeah, that too. We need to go ahead and pull the exhaust stack and the intake horn off because some of the easy things to pull off and see if the hood actually fits over the top of the engine. It's still really hot, so we might have to wait a minute before we go ahead and pull them off. So we'll have to let it cool down. I got impatient, so we're not going to... Ta-da! You're like a surgeon, Weston. Yeah. Bring me my scalpel! <laughs> it's hot, too, so we're going to You ever play that game, Operation? Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Operation. Success. Success! I didn't kill him. Yet. 
And it's worth mentioning that we are so close to a million subscribers, I can almost taste it. And let me just say, I like to taste a lot of things. So if you would not mind and you are not subscribed, help us get to our goal of a million subscribers. Let's get back to work on the car. Uh, it's hood time, baby. Rat ta ta ta! Where is the hood? No, we're actually just putting the hood on. Get easy. What the hell? Is it actually fit? <laughs> it's got a hood! It's not even hitting, I don't think. Like, I don't think it's... No, it's sitting on the radiator support. Engine block clears, radiator clear, the radiator. What the hell is it called? I don't know, I'm excited. The oil fill, the oil fill clears. So all we gotta do is clearance for the intake horn and drill a hole for the stack. Yeah. Thing about it is I'm kinda sad though. Now nobody knows it's got a Cummins in it. They'll know it's got a Cummins in it by the smokestack. And by the rule. I guess the sound of like two leprechauns beating on an anvil in there will make him like, what is that? That does not sound like a five liter. <laughs> Having smoke coming out of it like a locomotive. Yeah, you know, they might be able to tell us in the comments. Yeah. Boom! See something now? Yeah, this looks like an old Dodge. What? You're not parked very good, Russell. What are you talking about? Well, hey, I thought the lines went the other way, in my defense. What do you guys think of my new daily driver? Thank God Bigfoot brought it back. His Geo Metro just got out of the shop, so he was driving the first gen until then, but he, he got back to his Geo Metro. So, time to go in here and get uh, instruments of cutting. Exactly. That right there is what I need. Smoke sting. Huh? Smoke sting. Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. How do you get those scans? Look at this. Look. Down. Up. Down, up, and then look, we finally have got a reason to use that. Seems like a good reason, okay. Now that the hood's mounted, I guess it comes down to uh, the hard part of the scenario. Actually cutting a hole in our brand new hood. Okay, let's do it. Didn't need that anyway. Hmm, I think that's how professionals do it. Actually, we gotta trim it just a little bit more around here. That's really good. Hey, that's almost perfect. Isn't, isn't that supposed to stick out? Well, we might have to put a tip on it, like a little small tip that way. I don't think this one here will fit. Anyway, no. it's kind of like having an audit. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll take this one, see if I can beat it on there. Okay. You wanna come beat my pipe for me? <laughs> pass. You'll pass? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. And this is my world now. Anyone try to write me off? Try to make me wanna write this down. This is my. Perfect. It's good. Not even touching. We've got a whole quarter of an inch spare. I might be the best sawing and a hammering builder in the world. I don't know about that, actually. Should we fire it up now? She's awesome! This is just turning into a daily cruiser now. Put this tip on. The fiberglass is cool. Just put that tip on, look at it. Already covered and so. I don't know why it'd be that way. Uh -huh. Isn't she looking absolutely incredible with her hood? 
She looks really white. Yeah, I know. We definitely need to get paint on it. I like the black, but yeah, now it just looks weird. Look. What have we driven the car? 10 minutes? I think we're gonna need to get a taller stack too. But when the twins are on it, the stack will be a lot taller, so it'll be fine. This hood though, it's gonna require a lot more cutting for the twins. We don't want every single person to know we've got a Cummins in here. And also, this gives us the opportunity to sneak it in places. You know, we can take you to the Ford dealership and say, hey, for some reason, a Mustang, you know, it's, it sounded a little loud lately. Maybe, could you guys change oil, see what's wrong with it? Or we could go to that, you know, what's it called? Coyote, the coyote shootout. We could try to sneak it in there. And when the officials say, what is underneath the hood? We just say, you know what? Guys, uh, the hood latch broke. We're one step closer to finishing this car. All we need to do is get paint on the front end and a bunch of other odds and ends that I want to do with it. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Wow, that's crazy. I think they put like a semi-truck engine in there because it said Cummings and it's crazy. All that smoke coming out. Americans just love their muscle cars and they just love those diesel trucks, you know. Um, the more uh, unfuel efficient <laughs> that it is, the better that they like it. But this one looked pretty cool because... Uh, minus that smoke because that smoke just doesn't look good and if you're breathing it in because the stack is right by the passenger that's not good but overall it was cool i'd love to see once it's all painted and ready to go so thank you very much guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video too if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you'd like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always guys thank you very much for your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family and inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care what's up